reconvene regular meeting of urban renewal and roll call. Commissioner Mum? Here. Commissioner Smith? Here. Commissioner Benville? Here. Commissioner Neely? Here. Commissioner Roth? Here. Commissioner Mangelberg? Here. And Chair Polly? Here. Are there any citizen comments? <laughs> Seeing that there are no <laughs> citizens <laughs> here, <laughs> we'll move to adoption, adoption of the agenda. Any changes to the agenda or are we going to adopt as presented? As yes, presented. Adopt as presented. Okay. Um, general business, we have 14-109, which is the purchase and sale agreement and preliminary title report for the Cove project. Do we have a staff report? We do. Thank you, Chair Polly. Uh, tonight, uh, we have in front of you uh, the purchase and sale agreement and preliminary uh, title report for the Cove project. Uh, this, is, uh, this is one of the uh, items, the preconditions, uh, and it's under deadline. We, uh, this had to be submitted within 30 days of the effective date of the DDA, and it was submitted within that time period. And uh, we have until March 11th to uh, approve this, or not approve or get comment back to uh, the developer. Um, so hopefully you've had a chance to review it. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. We have uh, vetted this through our uh, land use attorney for urban renewal who has deemed it complete. Uh, doesn't have any issues with either the purchase and sale agreement or uh, the preliminary title report. So, okay. Are there any questions? Yes, Mayor Neely. A, I'm kind of curious. You know, it, a certain prob property will go into public ownership. There, did we have to go to some kind of a uh, some kind of a partition in order to accommodate the public piece? Right. There is a. Uh, there's a construct there's a temporary construction easement and access agreement uh, that is uh, being reviewed by the, t the attorney right now that it has been submitted by the developer um, okay so this so uh, <coughs> this this is just for the purchase of, of the private uh, well, parcel so this is just okay. for lot two okay. yes yes okay. So this is just the two. purchase for the garden apartment okay. so. and the rest is public yes Okay. And if I might, Mayor, I think eventually, I think what you're getting at is when there's a site plan and all the land use is done, and the final designs are done, then there's there could be a part, there could be a replat of the site based on some of the right. changes that happen there. We're not at that We're place not at that yet. Okay. yet. Okay. Yeah, okay. but that could be coming down the road. I I had just a facetious question <clears throat> about the 1919 <laughs> easement with the. Northwest Long Distance Phone Company. You didn't have to look anybody up. No. Make a long distance phone call to find them. <laughs> no, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> no. I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Are there any other questions about this? No. Okay. It looks pretty straightforward. Do you see anything, Eric, in this that we should be aware of or look out for? Uh, no, I didn't see anything, and neither did the attorney. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's like a, a simple agreement. Um, so I, I would recommend approval. Okay. Move, move to, to approve. Um, You're too late. Yes. No, I, pu oh, I pushed my button. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were supposed to read it first. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I think I it does need to be read first. Well, it <laughs> needs to be read first. So, read Mayor Neely, can you please read the motion to adopt? Uh, sorry. <laughs> you want me to withdraw the motion? No, <laughs> no. Uh, you have to, you have to read, read it. it. Read it. Yes. yes, please read it for the record. Can I have to keep you in line? I can see that. <laughs> Speak your motion into the record. Yeah, my motion is uh, for the first reading of the uh, ordinance. And I have seconded. Mm, no, so this isn't reads. an ordinance. So, uh -huh. does it require first reading? No, it's not an not. ordinance. It's Does just it a purchase and, and sale agreement. Yeah. Why did you tell me I had to have a first reading? <laughs> yeah, no, it was said that we were supposed to read it and then push our button. Oh, 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 okay. You were read supposed it to first, not first yeah. reading. <laughs> Have you guys been up here? <laughs> <laughs> He's been up here the longest. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I have all sorts of, of excuses. <laughs> but I'm also the oldest, so I've got a lot. All right. Are we going to continue on? 
it's been moved and seconded. It is. So was I need to clarify, is the motion to uh, approve the purchase and sale agreement and the preliminary title report for the Cove project? Yes. Okay. And I've seconded. Okay. Boy. Yes. Yeah, we just yep. we did comments. We can, we can take our motion back if we need to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the motion passed seven to zero. <laughs> no, and it's not so much that, and I appreciate you uh, approving that. I just wanted to give uh, a little inside information. Uh, today we were down at the state, and we actually oh, got uh, phase two approved for the vertical housing. Great. Oh, uh, excellent. Uh, and Congratulations. Yeah, I that's, yeah. That's, that's, uh, very, very good news. Very monumental uh, thing yes, to have absolutely. accomplished. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? It, uh, it well, I spent a lot of time with uh, <laughs> Don Herman, uh, who is the guy that's doing the work there, and mm. uh, he expects to have phase one approved next week. Yeah. And uh, if they, in fact, approved phase two, which is a much more difficult uh, set of yeah. circumstances, they will approve phase one. Wow. So that's very positive. Very good. Very good. Uh, very good. The other thing that we're doing is working with the, the Boley submission. Uh, we've had our attorneys working on it for the last two weeks. Uh, that will hopefully go in this week. And my only concern is that last time we worked with Boley, they said they would get it out in a week, and it took them three weeks, and we were actually late, if you recall. So I just wanted to let you know that that might not quite hit exactly our time schedule but our expectation is that they will, in fact, accomplish that. <clears throat> so we're making very good progress. And if you need help Thank on the schedule or, or something, Eric will keep me advised. We can, we can also try to make phone calls and try to encourage the, a timely response, too. If you have well, and I, and I appreciate the support. We've got uh, several uh, people within the community that are writing support letters, and I think that uh, Bully, in fact, should be uh, you know, able to be, get that accomplished. And our attorneys are very... They believe that we have very good arguments to support it. So, Ed, did you receive our letter today? Yes. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. So thank you for letting me uh, give you that uh, new uh, information. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good news. Thank you for the update. Yes. Okay. I, I do have a, a question or a comment or a request. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking at the, the DDA agreement, and there's a whole lot of those requirements that are 30 days, 60 days. Is there a way to get like a, a timeline or a summary of all the different things that are coming up so we can kind of have a pulse of that? So I was, I was going to address that. I, I've, uh, I've made a couple of spreadsheets uh, for that, and I've got, the, I've got it mapped out with the, the deadlines and everything. But uh, going through all of that, you know, there are a lot of things that could be deemed administrative mm -hmm. that we wouldn't have to bring it to an official meeting. Uh, that we could do it uh, with, with staff and, and get that through. There are some things that would require an official approval by the commission. And uh, if the commission uh, would like, or what I would like to do is just to go through and kind of decipher those, separate them out, and present the commission with a list of those that I feel are administrative and those that I feel are more official, and uh, get your uh, approval with that and then approach them that way, mm -hmm. just so we can hit all of them. Um, uh, and we know what's coming up. We have yeah, a better I idea of what timeline. Be yeah, that's a good question. So we will be presented with a timeline and yeah. So I'll I'll, I'll have the list with the deadlines yeah. for for each and uh, under two categories: official approval, URC official approval, and then administrative. And then you know if if you see something in the administrative list that you think you'd like to have in front of the commission, we can move it over there at that time. It's just kind of little mini work session kind of thing with some of the matters are kind of almost housekeeping like mm -hmm. they just happen on a certain date we're supposed to provide a report or something and we started with the premise that the Commission basically approves virtually all these things but then as we started looking at the dates and trying to figure out how to do those in between meetings <laughs> we realized that it might not be very efficient to do it that way so I I actually asked Eric to start working on that timeline about two weeks ago yeah yeah okay. so I was anticipating the need for that. So, great. Thank Are there you. any other comments on this? Just a generic question. Um, it sounds like we're moving forward on phase one, the garden apartments. But with this good news, is it the intention that they might also move ahead with phase two somewhat concurrently, or is it 
uh, sequential. The DDA is written in a way that makes it flexible that way. So, you know, once they start phase one, they can pretty much start phase two if they elect to do so. Did you earlier indicate what your desire was, though? You know, it really comes down to a function of the market. Please come, market, up, please uh, come up to the microphone. <coughs> the um, two projects, phase one and phase two, are designed to be not competitive in terms of their price point. So we have the ability to do both of them. But the real issue is that's about a $60 million loan. Uh, to get the financial community to bite into that is going to be tough. So we might have to do them uh, in series versus actually our preference would be to do them at the same time. So that's what we're pushing for. Uh, but that's not an easy task. And I've done several projects of this size. And usually they want you to step it. And they want you to do so many units and then so many units and kind of prove the market. So that most likely will be the circumstances, but it, it would be our preference to actually bring them online at the same time. Thank you. <clears throat> and since we started the meeting, we did have a couple citizens walk in. Should we go back and see if there's any more citizen comments, or do we need to move on? I'd move on. No? Okay. We are going to move on to future agenda items. Does anybody have any future agenda items? I have one, and I... I may have brought this up before, but I don't remember bringing it up. Um, w I would like to see if we could get a virtual tour of the mill site on the web page. Mm. Okay. Is that something that, that you think is great. possible? Um, we can certainly, I can look into that, certainly. Okay. That's more of a city item than a URC item, but yeah, yeah. 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 that's, yeah, that's a great idea, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> Any other future agenda items? Yes? Renata? Um, well, as I was reading through the um, purchase and sale agreement, I was noticing a lot of emphasis on cut and fill. Mm -hmm. And since a number of the large developments that are coming down the pike in Oregon City are in the floodplain, mm -hmm. at some point it might be good to take a more global look I was here in 1996. Our <laughs> office was under 10 feet of water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know the vast amount of territory that's been affected. And since that time, there's been a lot of fill, but not a lot of cut. And mm -hmm. so it may be that the floodplain is actually going to be higher than we think mm -hmm. to offset the amount of fill that's taken place and that's being proposed by this development. So. I don't know, it just raises a red flag in my mind. You're talking about, the public I presume, not within the, <laughs> the Not Oregon just City. the cove, but also on the landfill side uh, yeah, since but 1996. We, but we did cut and fill there. Yeah, we did. We, I mean, we cut. In fact, we took, I think, the more out of the project. floodplain than we put. That. Part of the jug handle project included a significant cut on the backside of the railroad between mm -hmm. 205 and, and uh, the railroad grade. Okay. So there's a there's a surplus there that uh, I think some of that's in I have that some of that's in the DDA right um, and it still leaves a pretty significant cut bank. Good so. to know. Okay, great. Um, the city manager's report. Nothing to report. Okay. Can I just make one comment, housekeeping? Because we do have new urban renewal um, members, and I appreciate you guys stepping up and volunteering for this. Um, when we um, make a motion, you're supposed to actually read it for staff, and that's what we were mm -hmm. confused about earlier. So when you make the motion, read the motion, and then um, everybody knows what it's about. Okay? Thank right. you. Thank you. That was probably for the old urban renewal. Yeah.